hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we will see how to remove the recaptcha from phone authentication in flutter so this is a project from our previous video where we have implemented the phone number authentication and this is how it works first we have to provide our phone number and then by pressing the next it was first redirecting us to the uh, to confirm the recapture and to confirm whether you are not a robot and then coming back to the application where we will be able to provide the verification code but in real app this is uh, a weird step and uh, which really disturbs the user so in this video we will see a way to remove that uh, robot checking in real devices but in emulator devices you will still have that uh, checking process because that is an emulator device so let's get started with the video and see how we can remove that step in your real devices so first you have to go to your firebase project in the project setting you have to in here you have to provide sha1 which will be required to get the verification in emulator devices and SHA-256 in order to uh, remove the verification from real devices so how we get this uh, SHA fingerprint we can go to the terminal cd android from your project directory then write this one so if your app is in debug mode or release mode you have to go and find the uh, specific variant and copy the SHA-256 and SHA-1 from here and paste it in your firebase project i did it in here so after that you have to come in this website that i will link in the description console.cloud.google.com and then choose your gmail that you have created the firebase project on it so from here i will change my gmail account up in here you have to choose your project that you want to remove that recaptcha so in here i will choose the phone out and then in the left in here click on apis and services click on enable apis and services in here in the search you have to search for android verification android device verification click on that and you have to enable this android device verification so how this works basically is mentioned in here so by enabling this android device verification you actually enable the safety net what this safety net is doing is uh, basically it will check for your device if it has the google play services on it then it will ignore to check for the capture otherwise in emulator devices we do not have that that's why it will check for the capture and as you can see here it has also mentioned that you have to add this sha256 fingerprint so I will leave the link for this website as well so you can read further about these things but this is all that we have required to do for disabling that recapture into our real devices so now let's run our application and in our device and see whether we get that recapture or not alright so our app is running in the device let's provide the phone number any phone number we are just checking whether we get the recapture or not and you can see there is no recapture screen and we have our phone authentication in here and if i give the code correctly we will be redirected into our home page and we will have our user id and by pressing this button we will be logged out so this is the project that we have done in our previous video if you like the project and you want the source code it is available 
I will link to the video in the description you can get the you can go ahead and learn how to apply the phone number authentication and this is how you can remove that recapture screen from the phone number authentication so that's it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like so you won't miss such videos in the future and i will see you in the next video